Hello crafters, this is Mary Prasad, art by mdp.blogspot.com. In this video, I'll show you how to color this cute little Christmas scene with fireworks sprays and other Imagine Crafts products. For this project, you'll need the following supplies listed on the screen. I used these stitched oval dies to die cut this white cardstock. Now I'm going to create a snowy background using irresistible texture spray and wedding dress. Here's my practice sheet. I did it on black paper so you could see the dots. I'm just going to unscrew the top and use the inside sprayer to tap on my finger and get some dots. I'm going to do this all over the oval. I'll bring this up closer to the camera so you can see the results. Clean up on the craft mat is super easy. Just spray with water and wipe with a paper towel. I'll be using these stamps from Tailored Expressions, the tree, the fox, and the gift. I'm using VersaFine in Onyx Black to stamp everything. This is a waterproof ink that stamps very crisp and clear. I'm going to stamp the tree and the fox twice because I'm going to do some layering. First I did a rough cut around each image and then I fussy cut around them more carefully. Next I created a mask out of post-it labeling tape. I switched to Jet Black Stays On ink to stamp this since it dries very quickly. The labeling tape has a slight coating on it so some inks take much longer to dry when stamped on it. Stazon is made to stamp on non-porous surfaces, so it doesn't have this issue. I'm only going to cut around the parts I want to protect, the hat, the scarf, and the tail. Be sure to line up the masks and stick them down well. Firework sprays come with a lot of shimmer, which usually ends up at the bottom of the bottle, so be sure to shake them up really well. Blot the excess with a paper towel. Here's a look at the shimmer. When spraying the trees, make sure you leave a little bit of the white showing through to give it some texture. The top layer of tree has the stem trimmed off since it would be popped forward, so I'm just going to make a quick mask using the bottom of this to trace. This will eventually be the bottom layer of tree. You could also color it gray like I'll do to the fox's hat later on. I'm using Memento ink to give some shading to my fox. I'll apply it with an ink blusher. I'm going to cut a couple of the stripes and the ball off the hat mask that I just used. I'm going to apply them to the top layer of hat that I'm going to color.
as I did with the fox's body, I'm going to apply some Memento Dewdrop ink with an ink blusher to give it some shading. For the gift, I decided to use a paintbrush to apply the fireworks. It's easier to get into the small areas this way. I'm going to use my Tuxedo Black Memento Dual Brush Marker to go around the outsides of all my cutouts. This gives them a nice finished look. Note that I do this from the back side in case the marker slips. I use the fine tipped end to go over any of the stamping that may have dulled down with the sprays. Initially I use the London Fog Marker to add some shading to the ball of the hat, but I later on decided to use some Neon Amplify to give it more texture. I did use it with some water and a paintbrush to add some shadow though. I used a tiny drop of the Fireworks Ladybug to add a little color to his ear. I used a craft knife to get into the little areas that I couldn't cut out with the scissors. These areas are just a little too small to cut out, so I decided to color them in with my memento marker. This is the background I created earlier with the texture spray. As with the tree, make sure some of the white shows through. In this case, I'm going to actually show a lot more than I did with the tree to give it more texture. Wipe over it gently with a paper towel to remove any of the fireworks spray that got onto the texture spray. You may want to dry it with a heat tool to help prevent some of the warping. I'm using tear it tape to assemble my card. This is the pattern paper, I'm just putting some of the tape on the back. Out of green cardstock, I cut a slightly larger oval. I'm going to use this as a mat for my background. If the background warped at all, be sure to use a generous amount of strong adhesive such as tarot tape. Here I'm adding London Fog to the bottom layer of the hat. I used a liquid adhesive to stick down my bottom layer items. My clear acrylic stamping block makes a nice weight to hold things down while the glue dries. I'll use dimensional tape to stick down the top layers.
To give my card even more dimension and texture, I'm going to use some neon amplify on the fox's tail and on the ball of his hat. After applying the neon amplify, you'll warm up your heat tool and go over the areas while keeping it moving. Don't get it too close because you don't want it to burn. I stamp my sentiment on a strip of white cardstock in Versify Onyx Black ink, then cut some tails. I also die cut a small bow as a finishing touch. I used dimensional tape to mount the sentiment, glued the bow in place, and the card was done. Here's a final look at the card with all the texture, shine, and shimmer. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. For card sizes and more information, please visit artbymdp.blogspot.com. Thanks for watching and happy holidays to all.